My honey baby likes to go geocaching, which gives us a, an excuse to wander around. Right now we're wandering around in a very old graveyard. Uh, like, I think we've seen, oh, well, the, there's a Civil War veteran. There's a couple of Civil War veterans buried right over here. And I noticed the graves back in that area were marked 1865, 1883. Uh, kind of interesting for me to think that when my house was built, these folks were still alive. It always helps me to put things into perspective. He was of Company G, the 8th Maine Regiment. Died in Cold Harbor, is that Virginia? Virginia, I think. June 10th, 1864. I wonder if he died in the Civil War. Yeah. If he died in Virginia. This guy, this guy died in uh, Buford, South Carolina. 32 years, 3 months, yeah. 25 days. <laughs> this guy, uh, 8th Regiment, same regiment, volunteer, died in Buford, South Carolina huh. on October the 10th, 1862. <sighs> I'd love to scrape that a little bit so I could read it, but I don't want to mess, I don't want to do anything to change it. There's a line of verse on there that I can't quite read. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's really cool. It's just, it's just so old. Very. Here it sits. Looking old tree. Imagine what it was like to ship a person's body back from South Carolina in 1862. How long do you think that took? Right. There wasn't any trains, right? So they haul him home in a wagon. Oh, I bet that was a fun trip. <laughs> in October? Coming up here in October? Well, I mean, he died in October, but I wonder when they actually brought him home, bless his heart. He was a volunteer, too. Did you see that? He volunteered for the to go fight in war. Even get paid for it. Bless his heart. I wish I could read the the verse down here, but I don't want to. I kind of don't want to scrape on it. Probably wouldn't hurt to scrape on it, but I don't.